Well, it's been very humid outside, and it's finally starting to rain a bit. And supposedly tomorrow it's going to be not quite as bad as it's been the last few days. But I have my air conditioner on, so and I'm not turning it turning it down to low. <laughs> uh, but I have a package that I am going to open from one of my viewers on my Canadian Stud Muffin channel. I thought he would open it here and just take my time, right? Because this is my ASMR channel. Well, one cat is hungry and one cat is thirsty. Yeah, so I've got... That's the air conditioner. Excuse the uh, garbage there. I, I have to put in a new garbage bag. I apologize. So that's at 70. I have it set for 61, but, you know, because of the humidity and everything, it, it's really working hard. It's at 7. It's cool in here, though. And then I've got that fan there, and I've got that fan there. Well, hello. It's nice to see you. Or, I mean, it's nice for you to see me. <laughs> so this is from Zach Mitchell, who lives in Ohio. I won't give you his full address. And it's funny. Th this morning, I was checking the, the CDs he bought me, the the band that he had. sent me the CDs up. I was watching their video, you know, not not even thinking of getting this package. I didn't know when I was going to be getting it, but I was watching some of their older videos this morning. And then he messaged me and he said, "Hey, that the package is on its way." And then I said to myself, "Well, that's a coincidence." Yeah, there's been a lot of viewers <laughs> sending me CDs and stuff lately, and I really appreciate it. I think I think I do need to ask people. I think there's one or two more coming too, but it's kind of like I've, I've got enough music to listen to for for a while. Uh, I got sent Kate Bush CD. I've listened to this three times, and The Residents. Duck stab. I'm gonna do reviews on those, probably on my my main channel. But anyway, this band is. Oh, and I hope that, that's the other thing. I also posted in my community on my other channel because this band is the very first band I ever saw in concert back in 1974. This band opened up for King Crimson in, in Massey Hall, at Massey Hall, uh, June of 1974. And they are Golden Earring. Sorry for that. <laughs> so these are the ones I had. This is Moon Tan. This is the UK version. The other, the version I grew up with was just had a really boring uh, album cover with a big ring. And, but this contains Radar Love and Excellent. And the other two I have are To the Hilt, which is incredible. And probably my favorite of the ones I've heard is Switch. 
Golden Earring, and they, they are, I think they're the bandits that lasted the longest. Sadly, their guitarist, uh, you know, health issues and all that, so they've had to disband. But they were going, the, the four members, for years and years and years. I think the only other band close to them is ZZ Top. Dear Larry, you are the greatest person I have ever known. I've enjoyed watching your videos for... I'm just making that all up. There's no letter. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's the next day. What happened was I did the, the video, I uploaded it, and I decided not to publish it until today. But I wanted to let Zach know you know, I did the video, and I, so I sent him the video to see, unlisted, before everybody else. And then he, uh, he left this comment here. <laughs> so he forgot to add a letter to the package. But I printed off what he had written, and I'm going to read it to you now. Dear Larry, I hope this package finds you in good health. I am a longtime viewer of your YouTube channel, channels, and a big fan of high quality entertainment. Thank you very much. I thought that I would pass along some really amazing music that I've been listening to a lot lately. I've enclosed two CDs by Dutch rock band Golden Earring, which happen to be their final two albums ever. I recently rediscovered them after nearly 10 years of never really listening to them or getting into them after hearing them the first time around. And I absolutely love them and consider them two of the band's best. For as much as you've been getting into music of all different genres lately, I think you, of all people, will really appreciate these albums. I really hope you like them. Please let me know what you think. Big smile, respectfully, Zach Mitchell. He didn't say anything about what a great guy I am. And, you know, but... <laughs> no, thank you, Zach. And so here's the rest of the video. But, yeah, he, he was just going on about how great Golden Earring is in these two particular albums that are more recent. Apologies, I'm, I'm going to sort of swear. Tits and ass. I think that's the first time I've ever s said those words on any channel of mine on YouTube. Very dark. But this band, you know, they're they're known for radar love and uh, Twilight Zone and one or two other ones, at least here in the in Canada and the States. But they are one of the most underrated bands ever. I would attempt to say their names, but I get them wrong, but all four of them are just excellent. Barry Hayes, the, the lead singer, I can say his name. That's not really much of a struggle. <laughs> yeah. Remember, if you're watching this, if you're still watching this, you haven't gone away, Please leave a comment and like the video. I really appreciate it. There's the label.
thumbnail. I guess you'll know before you watch the video. <laughs> what CDs I'm opening. And this is, brand new, The Hague. I believe, I believe it's a, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know yet. It might be a live album. I forget. Nope. It's just, I think, it might be their last album, actually. Or one of these is. There they are. So Golden Earring started without Barry Hayes, the lead singer, in I think like 64, 65, and they were releasing albums. And then Barry Hayes joined around 68, I believe. So, you know, for over 50 years they were making records and touring and you know, just the love of music. And just a, such an amazing band. I'm always finding, you know, I've always appreciated Golden Ear. We've never seen them <laughs> in my very first concert. And I, I loved Moon Tan and Switch. But all these years later, re-listening to those albums and To The Hilt, and then hopefully these, it's like they are way better than I actually thought they were. So, same with the... Uh, I, I just did a video on my main channel about this band called Spooky Tooth, which I've heard about for years and years, and might have heard just a tiny bit of their music, but never really listened to them. And then, a few days ago, I listened to them on Spotify, and it was like, I've been missing this for all these years. So I bought Spooky 2, their second album. And yeah, I'm going to be getting more of them. And So I've got lots of reviews coming up. Spooky 2, Golden Earring, Kate Bush, The Residents. Probably on my main channel. So I hope you're subscribed to both of these channels. And thank you, Zach. I know I will at least really like them. And... Uh, like I said, I'll do a review in a week or two. Thank you very much. Bye. Gotta cover up the... Never mind, I won't say that. <laughs>